just have a good time. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my first review of 2017. Before we get started, I just want to go over a quick change that's going to happen to my grading system. It's not going to be a scale from 1 to 10 anymore. I'm just going to go over what I like, what I dislike, and if I was just to remake this statue as a whole, what would I change about it? Hopefully you guys like the new system and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with the positives, I think the biggest selling point of this piece is the design. I mean just looking at the statue you can see that it's very unique. It doesn't have like a stance pose, like a museum pose, but it also doesn't have an action pose at the same time. It has a very gentle look to it and it's very, um, you could tell that this is a quiet dormant guy and yet he looks so big and so ferocious. They really did a good job here capturing Hank McCoy as the beast. The design is just the biggest selling point of this piece it's the reason I bought it and if you don't like the the whole look of this statue you're not gonna like this piece the second big positive is the sculpt here guys just from the fur the portrait the base overall it's all complementary to this beast statue like it really pushes beast to the foreground and it really makes him the highlight of the statue the fur on his face and his arms are done like spectacular. You could clearly see his biceps peering through and I think that's, that's such a cool aspect and it's really well done. His gauntlets are sculpted fantastically. There's so much detail like on the inside you could see where the rubber here, it contracts with his wrist. The way his finger here, his index finger is drifting outwards while the rest of his hand is clenched in. It's really cool. It really looks like he just finished reading and his fingers there while he's looking to the side. Again, with the glasses, the way he's like taking them off, it's so dynamic and yet it's so museum-esque at the same time. I really like that. They really captured a unique pose with this statue and I don't think there's gonna be anything like this again. It's really, really a, a far out concept, something that you don't see very often in statues. I think the sculpt is just really, really beautiful and it complements Beast beautifully. Another point that I like is how complementary the bases to Beast himself. The base is just as big as Beast and yet somehow he remains in the forelight. It is a Beast statue. It's not a library statue and I feel like that is really crucial nowadays because statue companies just go way overboard with the massive bases that it's kind of overwhelming to the character himself. I really like that they kept the spotlight on Beast here and they made his laboratory complement him instead of overwhelm him. Another thing that I like about this piece is actually the exclusive. I mean, I love this glasses look as it is, but I feel like the exclusive hand, which is basically him holding a book, it really changes the way he's, like the whole statue is portrayed. With this look, it's actually like him taking off his glasses, looking over and talking to someone else. Once you change it to the book, the whole thing becomes as if he just read something and he's thinking about it. The last positive that I like with this piece is actually the weight uh, with Beast, actually with a lot of characters like Hulk, Thing, um, Beast himself, I really prefer a heavy statue. What they did here is just fantastic in my opinion. I mean, this thing is heavy. It's like 25 pounds and I really like that they captured such a small, gentle looking statue and then they gave it the beefiness that Beast requires to, in order to portray just how uh, massive and, and animalistic he is. He is a gentle guy and this statue is very very soft. It's very characterized and yet the beefiness of, of its weight you could really feel like this guy is not a pushover you know what I mean? I really love that and again it's one of my selling points. It's what I like about this piece so much. It just captures Beast so so well. Now we all say that there's no such thing as a perfect statue. This case also applies to Beast. The paint application on his back and his suit it's very sloppy and it's very heavy handed. They didn't do a good job here. The lines are running all over the place. The black seeps through the gold. The shadowing isn't done well. It's just not a good paint application. You can see bubbling scratches in the sculpt. Overall, it's just sloppy and they could have put in more effort here. Now, although I have a big problem with the back of the statue, why did I keep it? And that is because it's on the back. You don't really see this part whenever you have it displayed like either on a bookshelf or on your desk that is the saving grace of this and if it wasn't because of that like if this paint application was on the front 
this piece would have been gone because I just don't think it's acceptable and they could have done a much better job here. In the end of the day, I think I would repaint this and if you need to repaint something about our statue, then that means it's unacceptable. The second issue that I have with this piece is actually in the regular hand. I feel like they could have done a much better design on this and they could have executed it much better. Although it looks great on display, once you peek in closer, you could see that the glasses are done sloppily. The black lines are seeping onto the glass. Glasses hands, they're not straight. They're bent, they're not even the same length. I mean, it's very, very sloppy. The biggest issue that people have with this piece when it comes to shipping is these glasses breaking. They could have easily had them removable and then they just peg into the arm, but for some reason, Satcho didn't want to do that. They did this and it's a big, big design issue because these always break. They could have made the glasses out of metal. Other than the glasses, I would actually change the size of this piece. This piece comes in at fifth scale, which is no man's land because a lot of collectors either collect one six or one quarter. The reason I still have this is actually because I put it away from my quarter scales. It sits on my desk. If that's an issue for you, I would avoid this piece. That is the biggest thing I would change. I feel like everything else you can kind of fix and get away with, but the one fifth scale aspect, it really hurts the statue. And honestly, that, that's the biggest problem that people have with this piece. It's just the scale is too small. Overall guys, it's a really nice piece. It's really well made. All the pieces fit together very nicely. It's a very hefty piece as well. The exclusive I think is a must have. The portrait is just beautiful. Overall, it's a great interpretation of Beast. I'm really happy with it. If you are picky about the size, I would avoid this piece. If you are not and you're a Beast fan, pick it up. You will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching guys. Hopefully you guys like my review. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you love this piece? Do you not? And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.